going to show you how to use heart-shaped ice cube trays to print on fabric. I always look for things in the dollar stores and the dollar section of regular stores around any type of commercial holiday for things that I might use in my art supplies, whether they're for printing or for ephemera, collage material, that type of thing. And last year I picked up these ice cube trays. They come two to a pack and uh, they're flexible. They will make a great printing plate. Since they are flexible, I think it's easier to apply the, the paint with a foam brush rather than a brayer. So I'm going to use some paint and start printing away. I've got some fabric here that is pre-washed and I have print, pinned it onto my printing board. You don't need a printing board, but it just makes it easier because the paint will kind of pull the fabric up. So if you don't have a printing board, if you can work on a surface that you can tape the fabric to, that will help. I'm just applying the paint on the surface here. You could also use thickened dye but I'm just using some fabric paint to uh, do this quickly. Okay, I'm making sure I have all of the surfaces covered here. And now I'm going to carefully flip it over and print. The area that's printing is outside of the hearts, and so that's what I'm pushing on to make sure that it touches the fabric and prints. Okay, now this will be a grungy print, but that's okay, that's my style. Cool. Now for the next print, I can either print it so the hearts are going the same direction, or I can alternate, and I think I'm going to alternate. One thing I don't like about the foam brushes is that they really soak up the paint. You could you could just use a regular brush. about working on a printing board that's padded, my board is padded, it makes it easier to get a good impression with whatever you're printing or stamping. But you can see how the fabric is getting pulled up. Okay, now I'll just continue on. as much as I can for the size of my board. I'm going to let this dry just because I'm working in a small area. Then I'm going to unpin my fabric and move it over and continue printing. If you have a large enough table, you don't need to wait for it to dry. You can just unpin it and then shift the fabric over. Mm -hmm. 